Hello everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackbird, and today I want to go over an additional tool to help you out with your color keying, and uh, those are called the uh, Mat Jokers. And what they do, basically, is almost the same thing as the Edge Thin here, where it like cuts in into the uh, footage to get out this uh, different kind of green and all that stuff. So I think it works pretty good with the uh, spill suppressor, and um, we'll go, uh, I'll show you like a method with it and without the spill suppressor. So let's go. So let's add the um, spill suppressor in first. So let me type that in. Oh, it's it's under keying, I think, right? Yes, yeah, sp spill suppressor. And we want to suppress this green here. And now we've got this. The thing about spill suppressor is that sometimes it creates this like black edge and um, it's not always what we want so we can increase or decrease the suppression to kind of get that back but when you start decreasing the green starts coming through again. So uh, let's keep it at 100 because I'd rather have this black color than the green. Looks a little better and then we're gonna go to uh, the next effect <clears throat> and it's under I think it's under matte yep and then we're gonna go to matte choker it's not the one I wanted I wanted simple choker actually matte simple choker and um, this one's pretty easy it's only got one um, actual property I guess I always forget that word I don't know and uh, all, all it's going to do is kind of eat in at the edges of the mat there. And it uses your, uses your alpha to eat in at the edge of the mat. And this will give you a little bit of a, of a better look. So now we've got the gun without all that black and everything like that. And that's what the uh, simple choker does. You have a... You have your mat that you can look at, or your final output. So that's all that the simple choker does. Easy enough. I'll uh, delete, take off the spill suppressor, and you can see that <clears throat> the the uh, actual green and stuff is still going to uh, suppress, or is going to spill over onto the hand and all that stuff, even if you use the simple choker. So that's why I like using the spill suppressor with it. So that obviously looks way better. So let's uh, move on into the next one here. The next one I want to go over is actually the mat choker, and it's a. Uh, I wanted to show the simple choker first because it's obviously easier to figure out. So let's add in the mat choker, and that's under uh, the mat section. So we got mat choker, and unfortunately, when they give it to you, the uh, the uh, choke and all the uh, settings aren't that well like defaulted so um, this is these are kind of wrong and it might seem like the effect is busted so I'm gonna show you how to fix it what the mat choker does is it kinda like fixes like any uh, holes or anything like that in your in your edges which I don't really I don't think I really have too many but what it's supposed to do is spread out the um, the holes in your edges and then recombine them by using the uh, second choke to like it'll fill in the holes and everything like that so it, your uh, edges don't look ripped or torn or anything like that <clears throat> so the first uh, geometric softness um, might be up a little high so let's set that down to two for a starting point and then this one right here we're gonna set to two for a starting point and um, the choke one, I think it's supposed to, we should go into the negatives to bring it out a little. Not a lot. So that's going to bring out the edge of the choke. And then uh, we can see like up here where it's, it might be a little messed up. Let's bring this up. There we go. So it looks like 70 around there is good for that. We've get, we're starting to get a little uh, black edge, but that's okay. Um, gray level softness. Um, it's kind of just gonna make like the edges like blur a little bit so let's keep that at 10 now we've got geometric softness for number two here we want that at around two also 
we need to bring this gray level softness down. There we go. And, and now for choke two, we need to bring that up. And however far we need to bring it in. So looks like I might need to bring that up a little. Uh, it only goes up to 127. So let's bring this down a little bit. So that looks uh, somewhat decent. So that's how you use the mat choker. Let's uh, turn it off and see what it looked like before. So that's with the spill suppressor on. And this is with the mat choker on. And uh, that's how you're supposed to use this properly. And the, the, the settings are like backwards and everything like that. So. You want to have your first choke go into the negative to spread out the uh, edges. And then the second choke here to um, expand the edges that you created from the first one. And that will just fill in everything and it will cut in evenly instead of where the simple choker just cuts in all at once. This will spread it out and then cut in evenly which is nice. Your softness um, doesn't need to be set very high at all. and uh, usually two is a good um, number for both of them so that'll be it for this tutorial on uh, the matte choker and the simple choker so use those in combination with uh, your other keys and everything here and it'll uh, help you become a better uh, keyer to use this kind of stuff so thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one good luck guys and girls.